Hi girls. Oh, two eggs. Who laid these? Thank you girls. Thank you. One of my favourite books as a kid is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So today I've been inspired by this wonderful character and I'm going to make a cake pop caterpillar. Making a cake from scratch is super easy. Absolutely anyone can do it. For this recipe, I'm going to use 125 grams of softened butter. You've got to make sure it is really soft for this recipe. One cup of caster sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla paste. Now when you're working with vanilla, try and make sure that you use either vanilla bean paste or extract rather than essence. So it'll taste so much better. Two eggs. And these have just been freshly laid from my chooks. Two cups of self-raising flour. And to finish this off, I've got half a cup of full cream milk. Then I'm going to mix this on low until I've achieved a smooth batter. That's looking pretty good. So all I have to do now is pour this into my cake tin, which I've already lined with baking paper. Smooth out the cake so it's nice and even. Bang it a few times. Now this is ready to go into the oven for about 40 minutes at 160 degrees. Best bit about making a cake. <laughs> the best way to test if a cake is done is stick a skewer in it and if it comes out clean, it's ready. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna let this cake cool down completely until I turn it into crumbs. The next step to this recipe is making our cake balls. Our cake has cooled down and I'm just going to trim off the edges because we don't want too much crust. I'm just gonna trim the top of the cake as well. Now what we want to do is crumble up the rest of the cake. So you want the cake crumbs to be just like bread crumbs, nice and fine. You can do it in a food processor, but you should be able to do it just by hand as well. So that the cake crumbs hold together, I've made a mixture of butter and icing sugar, just a standard vanilla frosting. And I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of this into the mix. Now it's time to get your fingers dirty. Add a little bit more frosting if you feel you need to, because the consistency you're looking for is so that the crumbs do hold together. I'm using an ice cream scoop to help me make the balls roughly the same size and then roll it gently between the palm of my hands. Now these small balls are going to make up the caterpillar's body. And then I'm gonna make an extra big one with one and a half scoops of mixture for the head. These need to firm up in the fridge for a few hours before we put them on the lollipop stick. The cake has been in the fridge for a few hours now, so we're almost ready to decorate and make our caterpillar. But to do that, we're gonna use some candy melts, which you can buy from craft shops or good grocers. Just like you're melting chocolate, I've got these candy melts over a very low heat, and I'm gonna melt them very gently and slowly. I couldn't find any green candy melts, so I've melted down white chocolate, and I've added some green food-colored powder, which is suitable to add to chocolate. Now it's time for the fun part. These have been chilling, so we can start to make our very hungry caterpillar. This is a really fun thing that the kids can definitely help out with. And basically, all we do is dip in our lollipop stick into the chocolate and then we insert it just at the bottom of the cake scoop it up brush it around you could decorate it with sprinkles now I've made a little polystyrene board that I can stick the caterpillar in and I've painted it yellow so to make my legs I've just got some black pipe cleaners just folded one side down other side up got a little bit of edible glitter as well so I'm going to decorate this one with some glitter so I have my caterpillar body, I think it's looking pretty good, but now what he needs is a head. So I've got a cake ball, which is a little bit larger, and I've got some candy eyes that you can buy from a good cake shop, and they'll stick to the red candy melt. Sort of starting to look like a face. But I think now he needs a mouth. So I've got some black gel, it's edible, you can get from the supermarket. So I'm gonna do a little circle here to give him a little mouth. And the last thing he needs is some little antennas. What do you think? I think that he looks pretty similar to the very hungry caterpillar. And I know that if I was a kid and my mum gave me this for my birthday cake, I'd be pretty happy. 